This is a four pound boneless beef rump roast that we're gonna season up with sea salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. And we're gonna have some fire roasted vegetables that I'm gonna lay at the bottom of the crock pot. We're gonna cook this in the crock pot for 10 hours overnight. As you can see right here, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm gonna put all this together and get ready to go to bed. So what we're gonna do is start off with the sea salt, just generously coat the outside with the sea salt. And um, here's the garlic powder that we're gonna go and season with. Make sure you get around the outside. Do the same thing with the ground pepper. See right here, I put in the vegetables. And then right now, I'm just gonna add in the meat. We don't need to add any water in there because um, the meat's gonna release its own juices. So there's no need to put water inside um, the crock pot. What we want to do is just turn this on to slow 10 hours. I mean, you can do six hours, but I want to do 10 hours. It's my preference, it's not a big deal. It's 11.05. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'm gonna let this cook overnight. And tomorrow morning when I get up, it'll be nice and done. And we'll take it from there. Okay, 9.15 the next morning. It has been 10 hours that the meat has been cooking. So the temperature is off, it goes to warm, and here it is. There was a lot of fat in this meat and it cooked down. So look at that. That's a lot of juice that extracted out from the meat. With that juice, I'm gonna make gravy. The vegetables, it got a little bit too soggy. I wouldn't do this again with the vegetables like that. I mean, it just cooked too long. So right here, all I did was just take out the vegetables. I strained it out. What I'm gonna do is just make gravy out of the sauce. But there's a lot of fat in here. So what we wanna do is just pour all the juices into a bowl. We're gonna let the fat rise to the top, put it in the refrigerator, let the fat at the top harden up, and then we're gonna take off the fat and then make gravy. After I put the bowl inside the refrigerator overnight, it hardened up, so all the fat went to the top. And what we're gonna do right now is just take a spoon and just get rid of that fat. Just get rid of it, we don't need it. And then we'll be left with just the sauce that I'm gonna make gravy with. So right now I just got some cornstarch that I'm gonna thicken the gravy up with. I'm just gonna add the cornstarch, stir it up some, let it get hot, and then it'll start to thicken up. It only takes a couple of minutes for it to thicken up. Okay, so now my plate is ready. Everything's done. This bowl right here, I started to slice it and it all started falling apart. So what I'm gonna do is just have shredded beef. I'll probably put some barbecue sauce in there and make some shredded barbecue sandwiches. Easy lunch for me right there. And I have my gravy. I'm just gonna pour it over my meat. And that's my plate right there done hope you guys like it hope you guys try this real simple easy recipe just get yourself a, a big piece of meat put it in a crock pot let it cook for a couple of hours and you're done real easy thanks for watching leave a comment let me know what you guys do with your crock pot and i'll see you guys next video thanks for watching